Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie from Angels Excursions and I'm just here to give you guys an update. I'd like to thank my Patreon subscribers and for all of my subscribers who follow me here on my vlog. I want to just kind of talk about who I am and give you guys an update because I do have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you. And for those who haven't subscribed, don't forget to click that button and the notification button as well so you can come along with me with um, all of my adventures through my shenanigans for the year. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope that you had a great 2022 and we're going to make 2023 even better. Um, so who am I, right? I am a van lifer. I do live in my van full time. Um, I have been in my van for about two and a half years now. Yeah, about two and a half years now. I self-built my van. If you haven't seen that video, you can go back um, into my playlist and I have my van build videos are in there. I travel throughout the U.S. Um, I love my van. My van's name is Peter Parker, named after my pit bull who passed away. Um, I am a, a um, as far as for careers, I won't say I have like the career, but um, I like a lot of different things. But currently, I'm a guide, I'm a tour guide. I have worked in other places, but I mainly focus on working seasonally in the state of Alaska. Um, I started off as a walking or hiking guy there, and I am now transitioned, transitioned into being a tour director, so I get to take people all throughout the state of Florida on the mainland, not through the through the um, islands, but on the mainland of Alaska, showing them all the different things that Alaska has to offer with the beauty that Alaska has. So being in my van, um, I love being in my van. Um, I recently just did a redo or a, a build, a partial rebuild for the van. I took everything out except for the floors and the kitchen area and I redid that to suit my comforts. Uh, when I first built the van I had like all of these expectations about what my van should look like and how van life should be and all the things I needed to buy and have in my van and I've learned that I don't necessarily need I didn't necessarily need all those things so I have changed my van around um, to suit my needs and fit who I am as a person, right? Um, and I will be giving you guys a tour really soon, I promise, a van life tour. I'll be giving you guys really soon. There's just a few little things that I need to kind of tweak. And what I've been doing with the van lately is just trying to fix the little things besides the interior. I try to make sure that my engine is maintained, so I'm giving it maintenance because I did not take my van with me to Alaska this summer. It was here at my mom's house who has let me be in her driveway, plug into her electricity, which I appreciate, and that's where I'm spending my winter. Um, but I'm trying to do some upgrades, and I'm learning so much about being in the van. I... um have been able to change some parts on my own um, using YouTube University of course so I've changed out my radiator um, overflow tank um, my oil filler tube broke and I had to try to fix it myself and I did that successfully um, but yeah I'm just trying to make sure the van is nice and ready for our long haul trip back to Alaska which is about 3400 and something 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 <laughs> miles uh, so that's gonna be a long trip so I want to make sure that the van is um, ready for that so um, another thing that I have to do I need to fix my weather stripping on the van I have a leak in my 
door, which I have not been able to figure it out. I've tried all kinds of things. So I'm going to take it to somebody so that they can try to, maybe I need my doors realigned. I don't know what, because I have changed the weather stripping on the door. Um, also, I bought a mountain bike uh, recently, and I want to be able to put, to put my mountain bike onto the van so I have to get a hitch installed and get a bike rack installed and um, it's just some little things and just make sure that we're ready to get on the road me and Pete um, but yeah so travel is in the future travel has been in the past I love traveling and I always say like I live in my van right but it's just like anybody else who has a home you guys go and visit family, right? You guys go travel, see the world. I do the same thing. So I love to travel. I've been very fortunate. Last year I was able to visit three countries. Um, I was able to spend time with friends, spend time with family members, took my mom on her first international trip, which was awesome. And then some time by myself. Um, I love solo traveling internationally. I think that every women should do it at least once is so enlightening i love being able to see different cultures and different people and the different ways of life life that people um, are living and be able to explore and the best thing about being solo is you don't have to you know negotiate what it is that you're going to be doing you just go ahead and you just do what you want to do um so yeah i do love um, so a little travel, um, and um, I have a couple of trips that are going to be going on this year. My life is busy, but not too busy. But I'm still learning on, I'm still learning how to balance it so that I'm not overwhelmed. And I've been doing a pretty good job at that. I'm pretty laid back, and if you know me, I'm pretty laid back. So, um, um. I think traveling has helped me just to understand the way that the world works uh, and to give it more appreciation. So travel is something that I love to do and I will continue to do and show that to you on the channel. For me in my life, I've been doing a lot of different things. I started um, a photography business last year. I also started my main business which is going to be professional tour guide um, and this year i'm going to be trying to to do more um, as far as i'm going to start a retreat for women it's going to be a women-based retreat where i'm going to be taking women to different places in the lower 48 alaska and abroad um, in a retreat type workshop type setting to teach them about different things about re reconnecting with the outdoors about traveling solo abroad and getting that confidence um, so different things that i want to do in the long term my goal is to actually hold on a second Thank you. <laughs> In the long term, my goal is actually to um, have a retreat in Alaska that I have outdoor survival retreats, nature reconnecting retreats, travel retreats, photography retreats, but I also want to incorporate a couple of retreats that are going to be dedicated to women who have been victims of domestic violence or um, who are under under underrepresented in our communities I want to do some retreats for them as well so that's the long-term goal but the short-term goal is just to kind of get into the retreat business and try to get some women out onto the retreats um, but yeah I have like all these things um, in Florida where I started as far as van life. That's where I built my van um, was in Florida back in 2020 COVID times, uh, of course. And um, I have a group there called Girls Who Hike Florida. So Girls Who Hike Florida is a women based group where I have created a space for women to be able to recreate safely in the outdoors, to be able to meet other like-minded women and get out there 
and do the things that they love and um, feel safe about doing that. So I work with women. My group is about 10,000 plus strong, which I am so appreciative of. They pretty much take care of themselves. We do do events and work, do charity things and all, all the things that we can do. Um, but yes, Girls Who Hike Florida, that's my baby. And now I have Angels Excursions, which I'm going to be working to try to do these retreats. And um, so that is, you know, what other parts or aspects of my life are about um, but I wanted to kind of talk about the way that I want to see the channel evolve I want my channel to grow of course in subscribers but that's not my main goal my main goal is to grow as a person and be able to share those um, experiences with people so um, I wear many hats <laughs> So I'm also a photographer. For those who don't know, I've had a camera since I was about 14 years old. And my grandfather gave me my first camera, 35 millimeter film camera, and I used to carry that thing everywhere. Um, but I continued. Someone stole that camera when I was like 19. And so I continue to have a camera with me all the time. My friends call me paparazzi. I'm kind of like a... I love my camera. I just love taking pictures <laughs> so much. But my trail name is actually Shutterbug because I'm always out there taking pictures on trail, which is a love of mine. And I love creating um, photographs of the outdoors. I want my channel to reflect who I am. So, of course, I, I will be continuing to create content for van life because I live in my van and to show you guys my life and um, to give you guys insight on things on if you ever wanted to become a van lifer or a, van, or a vehicle dweller part-time or full-time to kind of give you some insight on that um, but I'm also a tour guide so I want to be able to show you guys some of the things that I do when I'm out on the trails with groups or at these retreats that I'm going to be creating um, but I'm also a photographer so I will be kind of trying to round my channel out to show who I am on a whole uh, so I will be doing some videos about photography um, I recently updated all of my uh, camera cam equipment I have I haven't always will be a Canon girl okay I've had a Canon forever but um, yeah I, recently I I inherited my grandmother's 35 millimeter film camera so things kind of just turn around someone stole a camera from me I get another camera and I want to be able to showcase how I use my how I use that camera I do have some pictures that I've taken with it little pictures like this that I've taken with my camera I'm still learning um, I'm still learning how to use it but um, yeah this is some of the things that I've taken with my camera I've also upgraded my professional equipment I have my professional equipment that I've upgraded as well it the camera that I had before was a Canon. It was, it was um, not a full frame, so it also had ties to the past. Um, when I say the past, I am a domestic violence um, victim survivor, and the camera belonged to uh, one of my exes. And I kept the camera because I wanted to continue in photography, but there was trauma connected to that camera so I decided this last year that I was gonna upgrade my stuff and I did I have a better camera it's, it's not like the top of the line it is brand new but it's not new as far as a model so but it has been proven to take really good pictures through the research that I've been doing so I upgraded my camera systems all of them I bought a I bought a drone I have bought I always have had a GoPro so I have my GoPro now I have, I have my film camera and now I have this professional camera and I will be trying to showcase photography and the aspect of 
from my eyes, from my perspective, and showing you guys some of the photos that I um, am going to be taking and have taken on the camera. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, I just want to live, I want to show you guys my full life as I live my full life. And that is so many things. So my channel is going to um, evolve. So I hope you guys stick around for that. Um, if you guys have questions for me, please always ask me. And you can also find me on Instagram under Angels Excursions. On Instagram, I, I post daily on there. Um, and if you want some more more of the behind the scenes type thing things, you can uh, you can become a Patreon member or even a YouTube member. I don't use the YouTube memberships that as much, um, just because I haven't kind of figured out how I can give you guys what you need and what is going to be good. For you i'm just trying to figure all that stuff out but um yeah you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on um patreon and of course here i'm going to try to create content for you guys different types of content including things tutorials and lives and um i want to schedule some meetups and just i want to just kind of just kind give you guys more than what I've been able to give but that's all going to be dependent on, on my schedule. Summers for me are like insane as far as um, creating content and balancing my guiding my guiding summer work but I'm gonna try to figure that out just so that I can share more and be more for you guys but again if you have questions please leave them in the comments if um you guys have suggestions for the types of videos that you guys want to see next year or see this year, I'm sorry. Um, please let me know. Let me know. Um, and that's about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little update. Hope I didn't talk too much. And I wish you the best for 2023 and I'll see you guys really soon. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Until next time, love and light.